It is 455 this morning. You're waking up with daybreak. If you have a pet, you probably see them as part of your family, and that's why it can be scary when they get sick. Well, a new study highlights the top 10 cities in the United States with roundworm infections and Hampton tops the list. So Tim went to the experts to find out why. For a more in-depth look at the study and why our area sees higher than normal roundworm infections, we spoke with an expert, Dr. Craig Pryor, board member of the CAPC, Companion Animal Parasite Council, who conducted the study. There's something going on. And maybe you've had a bunch of rescue animals come in, and they, you know, people have adopted them, taken them to the vet, and I found that, hey, these dogs all have intestinal parasites. Dr. Pryor says this is likely behind the large month-to-month -month increase in cases in our area. When the females start laying eggs, they will literally lay thousands upon thousands of eggs that come out in the dog and cat stool. So these um, parasitic eggs will then contaminate the environment and contaminate the soil. Only about half of pet owners admit to picking up after their pets. One in five dogs that goes to a dog park is positive for intestinal parasites. Roundworms can be transmitted to humans as well. And um, there's uh, CDC reports anywhere up to about 10,000 cases a year. Even crazier, Dr. Pryor says that 14% of the U.S. population is zero positive for roundworm antibodies, meaning they've come into contact with them at some point. What symptoms should I look out for that my pet is infected? Weight loss, pot belly, unthriftiness, uh, vomiting, diarrhea, sometimes bloody diarrhea. There is good news. This is all Preventable. The Companion Animal Parasite Council recommends that all puppies and kittens be checked for intestinal parasites four times in the first year of life. Well, if there's a story idea you want Tim and I to look into, reach out on social media or email us.